Welcome to Catholic Mom Mindset, a daily show where you learn to walk closely with the Holy Spirit so you can live the life God is calling you to. I'm your host, Sterling Jaquith. Let us begin. Welcome back. Today we continue our series about climbing the mountain, which we have been talking about how it's kind of a metaphor for detaching ourselves from the world and going to a place to encounter the Lord. And so while most of us can't actually go hike up a mountain and encounter the Lord in nature, which is so lovely, instead we have to find a mountain within our own homes. And some of you have access to perpetual adoration, a perpetual adoration chapel, and I would just say, oh, make use of that. I feel that even more now because where I live, we don't have one. And I just really think I took for granted just having a rough day and being able to go to the Adoration Chapel now that I don't have that. And so I just want to encourage you to do it. Do it when you're tired. Do it if you only stay for five minutes. Like maybe you're passing by the Adoration Chapel on the way home and you think, oh, I can't make a full hour so I don't even go in. Go. Sit with our Lord. Any time is worthy time. Soak it up. You know, Things that have radiation have these like radiation waves and just like being too close to something that has radiation like gives your body radiation. I'm not a scientist, obviously, but I like to think about the Eucharist like that, but the opposite way. We're just being in the room and the closer we are, the rays just like soak into my body. I think that's so beautiful. And so then I also making a chapel in your home. If you can make a small closet into a little chapel or if you can create a prayer corner, maybe get some icons. You can get icon prints for pretty inexpensive. You don't have to get original hand-painted icons. Okay, just a note. Don't get them for monastery icons, though. Don't get them from there. They are not approved by the Catholic Church. They're not even Catholic. So... And then also I think like creating like a little bag of holy things, of spiritual things that you could take with you. So you could just like go to the car and you could like set up a little, a little Mary statue and maybe light a little candle and then pray and just create like a little prayer space in the car. I don't know that I do that at a park. I was just thinking that when I go to a park and do that, no, I probably wouldn't be brave enough to do that. But like find a place quiet place, ascend the mountain. He talked a lot about how our hearts and our minds can ascend to heaven. And I thought that was so beautiful and um, so timely because I, I've been reading the interior castle by St. Teresa of Avila, which I've waited years to read. And it just feels very lovely and perfect that I'm reading it right now. And then I was also kind of referencing um, the fulfillment of all desire by Ralph Martin. Ralph Martin, and he talks about St. Teresa of Avila's mansions in the interior castle, but then also pulls in wisdom from other saints. It's a giant book, so it's like a big, a big tomb of a book. But what I love about it is he kind of chronicles these major mystical saints, and he kind of lays out the step-by-step -step prayer program that each of them share in their writings. And he even has this really cool chart where he just charts them all and shows how they're all basically saying something very similar. This concept that we can deepen our prayer life and we can ascend to heaven even while we're here on earth. Our minds can, and our souls and our hearts can ascend to heaven. We can have this communion with God even right now. Now, he says it takes practice. There's a lot of steps. And it requires time and beginning with meditative prayer and then moving to contemplative prayer. And then very few people actually experience mystical prayer like on the level that St. Teresa of Avila did. But I want to challenge all of you a couple things. One, I want you to just know that this is a thing. That following a very specific journey in your prayer life like there's an actual map for it. There are steps. And people use slightly different words for it, but there's a, a way, a system, a framework. You can do it. 
And we ought to. We ought to do it. We ought to make this important and to make it our life's work to ascend in our prayer life so that our minds and our hearts can ascend to heaven. And then to pick a person to guide you. I'm going to talk about that more in the next episode, but to just choose someone, I, you know, any of these people. St. Bernard of Clairvaux, St. Francis de Sales, St. Teresa of Avila. Almost all of the saints laid out their prayer life and the steps to grow in prayer. St. John of the Cross, maybe too. And when we focus on something, it grows. And so many of us are staring at the darkness of the world or feeling the stress of our worldly lives and feeling anxiety or worry creep in. And this is the antidote. Prayer. But I think we can treat it not more seriously, but more academically maybe. Where we think, yeah, I'm going to do this every day. This is my assignment. I'm going to practice this. I'm going to put in these reps. And here's where I'm going. Here's like my prayer syllabus that I'm going to follow. And it may take years to get to the next level, but what a worthy pursuit. So tomorrow, I'll give you practical steps that the priest shared about climbing a mountain. But today, I want you just to think about prayer and the importance of prayer. And that it really is possible to ascend our, our minds and our hearts to heaven by cultivating the skill of praying. Thank you so much for listening and have a blessed day. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Catholic Mom Mindset. To learn more about growing closer to the Holy Spirit, check out our free resources at madeforgreatness.co. Thank you so much for listening and have a blessed day.